Okay, so yeah, so uh, since last time I did replace most of the uh, most of the old oil tanks, the build craft tanks, with the new open blocks tanks. So they'll um, expand and contract. Yes, so we can make them any size you want, and and actually, I mean, you can make as many build craft tanks as you want and stack them together. But the problem with them is that every every tank has to be an individual stack, and they all need their own individual input and output pipes. And if you don't leave a block of space between them then the pipes will automatically interconnect. With these, you make a tank as big as you want. You just add one pipe in and one pipe for out. And uh, you can, you know, you, you, you can add to them later if you want without having to worry about, um, without having to worry about pipes interconnecting. Mm. And I also added this second oil pipe. I actually, uh, I actually dropped down into the hole of the uh, oil rig. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that there was a layer of water that was preventing us from getting all the oil that was under there. Really? Damn yeah. that water. So, so I actually dropped down into the hole and found an entire a huge under underground slash underwater pool of oil underneath there that hadn't been gotten by the big rig. Wow. And that's what this that's what this second pipe is. This pipe that comes out of the that comes out of the ground right over there. Mm-hmm. Um, that actually comes up a short corridor from that pool. Wow. Exxon would be proud. And so I just brought it up from there and joined it to this pipe, again, with uh, one of those iron fluid pipes. Surprised they don't come up with a version of their game called Oilcraft. Let no environment stop you. <laughs> Yeah, download the new fracking DLC for... Mm. Oh, God. Oil Can you imagine pipes. fracking in this game? All the um, chemicals, they, they warp the yeah. sheep into weird things. Probably probably could do that if you wanted. Oh, that's evil. <laughs> All the environments are cringing right now. Okay, so let's go, let's go back into the house. It's close to tea time. And uh, you can see here, I, I put up a monument to Ubu here. Aww, Ubu too misses him. Okay, and here there aren't uh, t there aren't too many changes. I think there was just this one machine. <laughs> Are you serious? Too many changes? Look at oh my goodness! Look at this man. I leave for a while. You've got the the armor collection from I don't know who. Oh, that's just random mobs and that I was fighting. You got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, geez, the wind turbine chest. You got four billion signs. Yeah, well, the, the signs over here basically are kind of like a to-do list. Uh, and so the first one, the one we're definitely going to get to now, is the wind turbines. Because basically, like, lava power is pretty cool, but it still runs out every once in a while. And you got to go find a new source and, uh, you know, reinstall mm -hmm. the pipes and the pumps and everything. And it's... It, it, yeah, it's a little labor-intensive. But yeah, you have to attend to it. And I've been using up... A lot of the power to fill this chest, which is all of our metal ingots. So this is the iron and the steel and the osmium that we got from the Hellmouth town. Oh wow! And uh, we also got like two stacks of Ender eyes as well from that. That's a lot. God, look at all this gear. Oh, you even got batteries now? Uh, yeah, because basically, like this, this energy storage here. This, this is from. Um, uh, I think it's from uh, basic components of universal electricity. It can store a small amount of energy, but but if we wanted to remove this from here and bring it somewhere and use it to power a machine, like a filler or a, an, a crafting table or something, uh, then you might want mm -hmm. some extra batteries to bring with us so, to keep it powered. So you're not that way you could take this and not have to connect it to one of these generators. Wow. How much wheat do you need for an end loop? Hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so over here is the new lava tank. So you, you know what we need to change the signs? We need to change this to, you know, nuts, bolts, hopes, dreams, <laughs> poison. <laughs> okay. So so this is oh, this wow. is a new lava tank. If you touch it, are you gonna burst into flames? No, no, I, I mean it it looks very bare bones, but it I mean it actually is a oh, solid yeah. object. And even if you even it if you looks... broke it, you would lose the stuff in it, but it wouldn't it's like not like lava's gonna come pouring out of that. 
And so this way, basically, you have just one pipe comes in at the bottom left, so you can see whether or not it's inputting, and one pump and one output pipe from here. If it was Buildcraft tanks, you'd have several stacks, and each stack would have to have its own input and output. Cool. It looks very yeah. scary, though. And actually, I found... In the cave, I found a rather massive uh, lava field, basically just behind where the ladder was. Really? Yeah, you want to go look at that? Yes, I've please. I've drained several of the lava fields. It's kind of cool. You can see what's left over the uh, the sulfur and stuff. Hmm. Because it's not doing anything, so maybe this is empty. We could go down to the bottom and take a look. That was a pretty big oil field. Sometimes, though, when the when the, it drains a couple of levels, you're hitting hitting a dry stone, and you have to move the pump over a bit so that it so hmm. that it keeps running. We can go down to the bottom and take a look. What we do need to do probably is clean up the area around the bottom of this ladder so that it's more open and easy to navigate. And after we do this, we'll go build some wind turbines, probably to install at the at the launch site because we got plenty of power really here by the house to do our processing. But we needed yeah, more we there. Yeah, we needed more over there. Okay, so actually, this way... Ah, uh, yeah, see, we just need to move the pump over a bit. Yeah, see what happened? Yeah, oh. <laughs> so it drained out, but there's <laughs> and there's a funny. big pool over there that extends, and there's a big pool over yep. here, but this was the shallow spot. So basically, I just need they to move the pump the over a couple of blocks in one direction or the other, and we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. but, uh, do we need all the sulfur? Oh, yeah. When, when all the lava is gone, we'll drain the sulfur. But this exposes a lot of stuff. Like, all this bit where I was standing over here, this also used to be lava up here. And so now the gold, you can get at the gold hmm. really easy. Burning. Uh, burning yeah, oil? There's oil. I've also been draining some oil fires as well. But it does sound it does seem like I hear another one. In my backpack? Nope, my backpack I'm saying so yeah. I'm gonna put on oh, yeah. See, this this, this is two there. things of oil as well. Uh, that were that were they they were what caused this uh, obsidian field here. But you see this lava as well. Like when that other one runs out, we can come over here. Oh that's cool. See how big you see so how I have to go too far. This is. Quite a ways. Where'd you go? Over here. Over by the oil. Right behind. So when that other one runs out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dude, oh, that's pretty here. big. Very And cool. then we'll be able to get at the resources that are around this, like that uranium and the redstone over there, and some, there's some more silicon. There's some spider webs in there. Or anything? Oh. I'm hearing spiders. Do you hear that? Uh, no, I don't hear any spiders yet. Ooh. I hear some water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block this off, otherwise I'm gonna fall in the lava walking around this corner. Oh. That would be bad. Yeah, uh, no, yep, I'm hearing spiders. I, I hear them now, actually. There's, there's a spider dungeon over here. Poisonous ones too. Oh wow. It's okay, the sword I have is really good for spiders. It's got the uh, Bane of Arthropods enchantment on it, so. <laughs> Bane of Arthropods yep. enchantment. Is that a thing? No, really. Yeah. Here, look. <laughs> That's funny. Here. I need oh, that back, though. Oh, uh, what back? <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't, I, don't have, I don't have anything at all. Uh, mechanism tools. Okay, wait a minute. Now I got two. Oh. You got That's one that's one. glowing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen that sword in my life. <laughs> yeah, how do you how do you stop people from taking your stuff? <laughs> do you bet there are any dolphins in Minecraft? Um, 
You know, I, there are dolphins in a mod called uh, Dr. Shark's Mo, Mo Creatures, and I, I usually like to have that one installed, but I couldn't get it to work with all the other mods that we're using. Yeah, so, we've, we've got how many? Uh, 82 now, I think. <laughs> 82, yeah, it's a little much. Oh, now where is this? Oh, this is, this is the end portal. In other words, if, if we're playing the traditional Minecraft end game, right? Just that, like you build a portal uh -huh. to go to the nether and get uh, stuff. This one goes to a place called the end where there's an ender dragon that you have to fight. And what you have to do is that you have to make an eye of ender, which is crafted from uh, ender eyes and blaze rod powder and some other stuff. Uh, and you have to make uh, nine of them to fill this ring. And then when you do that, this becomes a portal that goes to the end and you defeat the ender dragon. We're we're not doing that this time though because we're going to the moon and Mars. But but this is and wow. the thing is actually is that a big part of the normal Minecraft game is just looking for this place. What you do is you, you make the eye of Ender and then you throw it up in the air and it flies off in the direction of a stronghold. And it, it's a stronghold that is what this structure is that contains this portal. And then you have to fight your way through the stronghold to this place. We just happen to find it next to the house in a cave. Wow, are you serious? Yes. So we, we found the end game of where we would possibly have to do if we were playing uh, this normally, yeah. right next to where we yes. live. Wow, what are the odds? Um, I don't know, really. That's that's pretty, well, considering how large this place has been, and, I mean, we've been exploring it with airships and yep. spending hours going back and forth between other villages right. and but stuff. But it's just random, it just happened it's to be It's massive, here. and we randomly find it here. Yep. Wow, that's epic. <laughs> yep. And there are actually there are other mods that even uh, create better dungeons than that one. Uh, ironically, that one mm. is called Better Dungeons. Well, you know, I was wondering if there was going to be a Dungeons and Dragons mod because oh, there's, sure there's, there there's a there's a mod, there's a mod pack that's full of that kind of stuff. It's called Hexit. It's actually it's actually quite entertaining. Oh, we'll have to try that at some. Oh, dude, okay, you're right. Down. That was a gold, a gold uh -huh. piece. See, the gold is hiding in there in the silver. Mm. Go ahead. I, I didn't even take half a heart of damage. And your armor is better than mine. Ow! Well, I took a whole one. Whoa. What's all this? That's sulfur. This uh, used to dark. be a lava pit. We're down here at bedrock level, so we're, what, uh, four, oh, this is four feet off the floor. So we're in the dark, the darkness caused by that. And, yeah, this was all a lava pool between that obsidian up there and down here, this was all lava that I drained and used for power. And when it does wow. that, it exposes. Actually, there's still there's still a little bit of lava over in this other area too. Yeah, let's be. Careful. But it exposes all the sulfur, so uh, we'll have plenty. We're gonna have plenty of use for the sulfur. We haven't even talked about that yet, but we're gonna have plenty mm. of use for oh, this. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah, there's a little low lava left. Wow, level six. Oh no! Can you go? Some of the stuff in my backpack. Now, because this is all dark, does that mean all the nasties are going to be spawning in here now? <laughs> um, not if we light it. In fact, actually, the sulfur and the lava both generate their own light, so... Um... Right, but there's none in here right now. I mean, you can walk three feet and you're in total darkness. No, it doesn't... See, that's just draw distance. Uh, that's just artificially removing okay. your vision by, by restricting the draw distance. Um, the individual areas here aren't that dark, and so I don't think... Uh, monsters spawn here unless it's really dark. Once we remove all the sulfur, uh, we won't have to come yeah, down here anyway. Then we might have to light it. Oh, we got to be careful over here because I think there's, I think there may be water or oil above us in some places too. So. Yeah, like see this obsidian. Yeah, see from here this obsidian, you can see there's oil up here, but there's also water. Mining's dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's more more lava in this direction also. So much for draining it all. Well, I drained all of it that was connected because that's what the pumps that's what the pumps uh, grab. But yeah, there but there's a, uh, there's another whole pool in this direction as well. It's just that this is further away from the house, so the other one was easier to tap first. Okay. Oh, water! Uh oh. Hold on, let me see what I'm blocking off. Ah, I can't do it. 
Where? Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Can I get it? Ah, it's pushing me away. Can you get to it? Oh, thank you. No problem. Okay, okay. well, it right, didn't well, flood we, us. I think we've so. got more than enough sulfur. I've got filled my backpack with it, I think, this morning. I got 64. I've got like 64 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, uh, 64 times 2 and 35. Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's, let's go back up. So, where do you want the sulfur? Um, last chest over here, the one called Fuels and Gems. Although, we might, might need somewhere else to put it now, because the thing's almost full. Hmm, yeah. Oops, didn't want to do that. Let's put it in ores. Uh... Might just have to put it in one of the other chests for now. There's not a lot, of, a lot of room. I've been expanding. You can see I've upgraded these chests. We went from the basic wooden chest to the iron chest, and these are upgraded now to gold chests. And mm. the neat thing about do that is that you can upgrade them without breaking the chest. What's with the creepy noise? That's the. Oh, it's just random. Okay, so now if we go over here, uh, you go into this wooden chest here called wood turbines. Yeah. Too. And uh, and I'll look in this one also. I got current projects. It's got most of the same stuff in it. So if you if you open up a crafting interface like on that crafting table there, mm -hmm. and you type in turbine in the text window at the bottom, and hit return, it should give you two mm -hmm. items: wind turbine and reactor turbine. You see them? Uh. Yeah, wind turbine yep. and reactor yeah. turbine. So yep. Just left click on wind turbine and it shows you the recipe. And the recipe for a wind turbine is uh, three osmium ingots. Uh, in yep. the center, one enriched alloy. And enriched alloy we made with the metallurgic infuser basically by combining uh, redstone and iron ingots. And mm -hmm. then uh, two other more complicated items an energy tablet and a circuit and there's there's two kinds of circuits i think one of them is really simple one of them is a basic circuit and the other one's a and control one's circuit a control circuit a control circuit is really cheap it's just one enriched alloy and two redstone so you can make where a basic you can make that is. one the basic circuit is more complicated we have parts for either but we probably just want to do the simple one so basically i would say start with by making the circuit just take out of the chest one enriched alloy and two redstone and arrange them in a line and that will give you the control circuit and I'm gonna pull this on, me... same stuff from over here. Redstone and enriched alloy. And I'm gonna make a circuit in the crafting bench. So alloy in the center, redstone on the left and right gives me one control circuit. Okay. So I only need one circuit. And then I need two energy tablets. Energy tablets are uh, three gold, four redstone, and two enriched alloy. So I need to come back and get some gold. Yeah, no problem. There's a stack of gold. Okay, so energy tablets, and I need two of them. Are three gold, four redstone, and two enriched alloy. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Okay, I got the circuit. Now what am I doing? Uh, well, well, the next thing you need in the ingredients are uh, energy tablets. So again, start with by looking up wind turbine, click on turbine, and then click on the energy tablet, and it'll give you the recipe for that, which is gold, redstone, and enriched alloy. Okay, so enriched alloy on the sides, and redstone in the corners. Yeah. Okay. See that? Okay, so that gives you energy tablet. Yep. That's basically energy storage. That's what the, lo the local energy storage for the wind turbine. And that's what that energy storage unit over there is made out of as well. Okay, so then just enriched alloy, the circuit, the energy tablets we just made, and three osmium ingots. So Okay, so we need two energy tablets? Yep, two energy tablets. So I'm going to take... Okay. I've got some osmium ing ingots in here. I'll take some of those... Okay, so now enriched alloy. Okay, two of them. Enriched alloy in the middle. Three ingots around the top. Energy tablets on the left and the right. And the control circuit at the bottom. And that gives 
Wind turbine. How you doing? Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, got my turbine. Right. So let's go over now to the quarry and plant them. I've actually got a wire already set up that goes down to the energy storage in that area. Do we need to water them too? Uh, no. Um, let's see. What should we do? Should we go across the surface, or shall we go in the in the cart? Let's go. In, let's go. Uh, yeah, whatever you like. I think there's yeah, there's plenty of carts. So, go ahead. Oop! You pushed it off the track. Nope. Well, it's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> You got, you got to get it all. You got to get it onto the gold track. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Now get in it. Okay. What a marvelous way to travel. Yeah, that is fun. <laughs> nope. I love how you got the sign. House. <laughs> and so, yeah, this, so this is the oil storage tank now. Also, uh, the open blocks tank. And this is uh, the oil collected from Valdez and a couple of other places. Wow. Okay, and it should say, it should say which way is to the launch pad. Is there a sign for that? Yeah, well, yeah, see that you got a house pointed in that direction, but you also have lawn shafts <laughs> this way. Ah, yeah, that's this way. Mm hmm. So we want to go. Yeah, so I've been even in this out. I've been making subfloors and stuff. Mm. There's a sign here that says this goes to the fuel room, and that's where we are taking the oil and refining it into fuel. Uh, and of course, that's, and that's where we need the power. We basically need the power above there. So let's go to the, we need the power. Surface. No, I'm just thinking this this oil line that goes over there, it actually doesn't go that far above ground. I probably should just depress that. I can probably just go down to the fuel room and uh, use the laser to open a shaft heading straight west and uh, hook that line up below ground. Okay, so anyway, so oh, I've got, a, I got, a charge my drill. I got a cable runner here so we can <coughs> why don't you try putting a wind turbine down at one end of it. Uh, on this side or the other side? Um, I, I guess on this side, the side closer to the house. I'm honestly not sure how these work. I've never used one before, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I had a feeling. Well, the only question is, do you know how much space? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to or... test from the first one. So go ahead. Ugh. Well, should we clear out around here first? Then. Well, cause... I don't think it takes that room much room. I mean. Okay, I mean, I think that's enough. Go ahead, try putting one down on the end. All right. Let's see, inventory. Like, I don't think it's bigger than one block w wide. It's just a question of how tall it is and, and how far the blades stick out. Oh, it's pretty tall. Okay. Wow, you hear yeah, that? I hear that. Uh, I guess what I don't see is that it doesn't look like the wire is connecting, so I need to figure out how to connect the wire the right way. Maybe maybe it has to be from the back. No. Maybe underneath. Maybe up top. Because <laughs> that's where the generator is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Does it, yeah, I've seen people have this problem too. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's from the front. There we go. Where's the instruction manual? Okay, I got it. Okay, so it connects from the turbine side, and it looks like it sticks out one block left and one block right. So I can put another one here, I think. Yep. Cool. Well, whoa! <laughs> Blades look like they were like getting close to whacking each other. No, it's it's one block. They're either side of the wire, so 
Technically, shouldn't they be facing the same way? Oh, wait, it's starting to snow. <laughs> oh, the weather outside is frightful. Yeah, I have to play some Christmas music. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, okay, that, that, that was the wrong way. Yes, it was. How many of these did you make? Uh, I think I made three. Oh, bomb and tan, oh, bomb and tan. Wait, now it's it's raining. Yeah, it's raining over there and it's snowing over here. It's raining in this block area yeah. here with snow all around it. It's like that. Wow. That's weird. Okay, so that's three. So, how much do those actually generate? Uh, well, let's see what it says. It says uh, it's producing 800 joules per tick. Well, th I'm glad we cleared that up, you know, so for all the people <laughs> well, out there who are worried 20, about exactly how many per tick. There's 20 ticks in a second in Minecraft. That's, that, that's how fast the game operates. Mm -hmm. What's really weird is that if you're standing next to them and then you look up too high, they just disappear. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, if you look if you look if you look above the tops of them, they just kind of disappear. So, are we gonna have to have like fifty of these along the highway to? No, uh, no I don't think so. Uh, I don't. I don't know if three will be enough for everything. In fact, I actually have one more I can put down. Because uh, you made one and I made three, so I can. Let's see. Let's put. Uh, let's run some cable this way. Yeah, do you need some cable? I picked up one by accident. Here, behind this. you. Behind you. There we go. Another cable. Oh, I see. It. See there the cable. Go. Okay. There you go. Okay, so uh, I guess we now we now we go down and look and see how the power is collecting in the uh, in the battery. Okay, so power should be going into this thing. Uh, and it's not. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I think I got it. I think I got it wired the wrong way. I think I had that going into the output, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, under the wire again. Let's see. Red's supposed to be the output. I thought. Am I wrong about that? Was it a Positive, negative, negative, positive. Ugh. Never come with instructions. <laughs> no? Is it supposed to be like a loop circuit, or are there supposed to be any other control mechanisms for it? No, it, sh it or should be it just it one way. Just, yeah, it should be just one way. Um... You don't need a, you know, a regulator or anything? I wonder if the cable is just... Uh, maybe the cable is not complete? I don't know. kind of looks like it is. Well, there's a cable from this device. Oh, wait. No, this... Hmm. Well, this one's plugged into the red one over here, yeah. right? So is that the input or is that the output? Yeah, red's supposed to be the input. That's what I'm saying. This this should be properly connected now. This should be... This should be making power. And it's not getting anything. And these even come from the same mod. I mean, this is this energy storage module is from Mechanism, just like uh, the generator is from Mechanism. So compatibility should not be an issue. Maybe I'll have to make a wire tester. Like I know this works because I was I was fueling it with lava from this generator. Oh, are we? Wait a minute. Are we sure we're on the right <laughs> wire though? Oh yeah. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do what I did before. I'll, I'll, do, I'll build this up from here. Just make sure. Maybe, maybe I missed out a block. It's, po it's possible that there was just a break in the wire. I'm almost at the top. I can hear it raining now. I can even see, I can see the blades spinning. OK, 
Okay. Um, hmm, maybe... Well, it says these are all charged up and they've, they've filled their internal storage. I can't... See, I have a feeling the circuit uh, being attached over to this I'm... other device is messing it up. Well, to go ahead and break it then. I have a couple of them. I can always make more. So go ahead and break it. You yeah. sure? Alright. Gonna... Um, I'm wondering, maybe do I need to connect this at the top? I thought it was not. I... It does kind of look like but you sure? there's something up there. You sure it's supposed to be plugged into the, into the red then? Pretty sure. <laughs> now, though, the wires don't connect at the top. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking the inventory in the energy storage module, and it shows zero joules of 2.5 megajoules voltage 120. Is the voltage right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not doing anything. Is a Galacticraft energy storage module. But it uses universal, electri universal electricity, so it should work with the turbines. Do you mean to tell me that we need an adapter? <laughs> hmm, still nothing. Is it because of... Right, let's take this thing upstairs. I thought on top of the hill would be better. Do we have enough wire? Um, yeah, but I'm actually worried now that the problem may be the loss of the loss of power through the wire. Oh, well, you think the distance Maybe. is too far? I, I didn't think it that far. I, I've certainly done other things with other mods with, with greater distance than that, but maybe, maybe it's a problem. So let's put it right there and turn it. No. You say, no, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not getting anything off these. So either we've got the wrong, we've got the wrong kind Wee. of energy storage. This is wee crap. <laughs> Basic energy cube. Maybe that's what we need instead for this. But this should work. I don't know why it doesn't. Is it supposed to need batteries or something? Or No, uh, it's got internal storage. You can add batteries to it. Like you can charge it with batteries, or, and you can use it to charge batteries. Um, but batteries are not required. required. No. Hey, sun's out. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this... Uh, this should be working. <laughs> should be working, damn it. All right. Well, let me build. Let me build one of these other energy storage things. Of, of similar size, and see if it see if it likes that better. Okay. So a basic. Basic energy cube is lapis, redstone, energy tablets, and a steel casing. Steel casing is just steel around osmium. Okay, so grab some steel. Thankfully, I've made lots of steel. Steel around osmium. Gives me machine casing. Uh, the 
energy tablets again are just gold, redstone, and advanced alloy. Okay, and lapis. So the machine casing, energy tablets on either side, redstone in the corners, and lapis up in the bottom. And that gives me a basic energy cube. You think that'll work better? Um, I'm hoping. Alright, so I'll try taking this thing off. And in its place, I'll put down this basic energy cube. And... <laughs> yeah, I can't get wire to connect to any side of this other than the side we're using. Hmm. And I cannot get... I cannot get that side to connect to any side of any of the energy storage things I have. is there is a energy storage module energy storage cube let me go back and get let me go back and get one of the batteries <laughs> let's try that <laughs> Oh, there was a green switch. It was there all the time. No, that's what I'm thinking. I was because some of the <laughs> some of the energy storage stuff from Industrial Craft and Bill Craft does have uh, buttons where you can control like its its input output behavior. Like, do they output only when they're full, or do they output only when they're charging, or you know stuff like that. Uh, but nothing in it was clickable. So. Nothing is clickable. Clickable. Okay. What was I going to do? Oh, batteries. Battery. Right. I built, I built a couple battery. of batteries already. I know the problem is we don't have enough sheep. <laughs> um, hmm. Our sheep technology is light years ahead of the competition. just take a couple of machines that I know use energy <coughs> and see maybe if we can't store it we can at least use it for something and then I'll and then you can figure out what what the problem is with storing it it's gonna be terrible if these things don't work because they look really cool <laughs> <laughs> gonna be terrible if this thing really don't work because it look really right, cool. Right, let's First let me see if I can get let me this see if I can get the so thing to charge. Minecraft. Let me see if I can get a battery to discharge into the energy storage module. Right? Okay, that seemed to work. So now I've got an empty battery. Now I'll put another one in there. Okay, yeah now it's okay. So now I've taken 10 kilojoules out of two batteries and put it into the energy cube. So now I have two empty batteries. Now I'll put a battery into the slot. Yeah, I put a battery into the slot of the wind turbine. And it charged the batteries. No problem, like, very quickly. And now if I put that in there. Yeah, see, if I use, if I just, if I just take the batteries in and out, then, then that works. But connecting it directly with a cable doesn't. Okay, and that cable doesn't even connect at all. 
it is still not charging. There's there's now some free capacity here, and this thing is not charging from the windmill. So there's still something wrong here. Okay, uh, I'm reading something that indicates that this is a bug. Ah! <laughs> All that work. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's a bug. Uh, yeah. There's somebody, somebody basically saying that, yeah, it should connect from the front. Uh, and basically saying that, like, they had to delete the configuration files for all their mods to make it work. Wow. Is that so, something you really want to do? Uh, I'm unsure about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will back a bunch of stuff up first, I guess. <laughs> I'll back up everything. All right, well, I guess we'll have to leave that, leave that for here, and uh, we'll try to fix this and get back to everybody. <laughs> mm. Okay, so...